What's going on guys? It's T90 official and I'm highly excited for this game. Really, really excited for this game. Uh, we have a recording from the other day between Tyrant Slam and Gracie and Smarthy. Uh, you guys probably all know all of these players, but uh, probably for different reasons. As Slam, well, he's a very, very strong player. He's on Tyrant, uh, very, very strong for a very long time. And well, Smarthy, She's just a very nice person. I'd say the same for Gracie. And so uh, we're going to actually keep it a little bit slower because I think it's important to to pay attention to these strong build orders uh, from Smarthy and from Gracie. And uh, this is going to go on YouTube, and uh, these guys are going to uh, teach everybody how to do things, I think, because this is going to probably revolutionize the game. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Slam, he is, it is a 2v1, of course, against Slam. Uh, we have Slam collecting his sheep right now, and uh, it's taking Gracie a little bit of time. And, uh, well, Smarthy's just finding her sheep right now, a little bit of idle time, and she's struggling a little bit. Struggling a little bit, but there we go. Sheep's going to go over and uh, getting her scouting into, which is important. Now, Sivs, we have Mongols for Smarthy, and she's going to be able to take advantage of that fast hunting speed, which is very, very good. Now, let's take a quick look at the map here. Uh, kind of a crappy map for Smarthy, to be honest with you. Quite open and uh, front gold. Uh, so we'll see if Slam can take advantage of that. Uh, back on this side, Slam seems to be doing quite fine. Uh, yeah, not the best wood lines for him either. Lots of little ponds, and uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Back on this side, well, Gracie's just collecting her sheep. So uh, a little bit of a rough start in comparison, I think, for uh, Smarthy and Gracie. But uh, these guys... I think just taking it easy on Slam because Slam is uh, just just not strong enough in comparison to them. <laughs> but no, this would be fun, guys. It's gonna be a fun two v one, and I heard there's some strong tactics here. And of course, I'm just I'm just making fun of uh, Smarthy and Gracie because they I do know them. And uh, anyway, Gracie right now. So Gracie's Huns, and we have Mongols for Smarthy. And I'm not sure if uh, Slam chose Spanish. It'd be interesting if this did get to Imperial, if uh, we, we see uh, a villager attack from, from uh, Slam, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. Slam, of course, could do a lot of damage in the Castle Age as well, and uh, I'm going to be I'm gonna be really excited to see how this goes. Uh, if uh, Slam chooses to, to do a Drush on one of these players or not, I assume he's just going to do Feudal Age. There we go, the Borlore, super strong and uh, decent. Right next to the TC. And, uh, you know, right now I'm not sure how this happens. If you look at the Vill count, Smarthy is at 8 Vills while Slam is at 13. Like, how are you 5 Vills down already? I'm not quite sure how that happens or how that's humanly possible. Uh, she has a lot of wood as well and she doesn't have a lumber camp. I'm not sure how that's possible. I'm not sure at all. But it is possible, apparently. And, uh, you know, as Gracie brings in her first boar... Already has Loom, so it looks like the Vill's going to be okay. Uh, she has a couple of Vills uh, behind Slam as well. But, um, yeah, so it looks like a little bit behind right now is Gracie and Smarthy. Uh, which we'll talk, we'll, uh, we could talk, what what are we going to call the team? Uh, team Smacy? Team Grarthy? Uh, I like Team Smathy better, or, or, or Smacy, but that's really hard to say, so we're not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to stop that. So, uh... Anyway, let's take a quick look at the build from Slam. So, Cannibalist donated $70. Wow. Thank you so much, man. Uh, that's so awesome. I, like, you've no idea. You've no idea how helpful, like, how awesome that is. Like, right now in my life. That's so, that's so helpful. Like, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, but I'm gonna continue casting, I guess. That's that's so awesome. Um, anyway, I'll thank you later. Uh, look at this strong lumber camp right now from Smarthy, and she's so strong with these resources. She has five villagers in her town center. Uh, that's so. Now the downside is she's about to be housed at this very moment. Uh, there it is. But uh, it's all right. She's gonna get on top of it, I'm sure. And. Uh, well, she will someday. She will someday, no doubt about it. She's she's uh she's very productive 
when she realizes she needs to be, and, and there goes the house. Uh, so anyway, I was going to say, before that cannibalist donation, thank you so much. Um, I did mod you, by the way, earlier, so uh, thank you for your support. Uh, what th is the build going to be from Slam? And uh, you guys tell me, actually, if you see a, uh, a lag with the audio. If I click this mill, uh, well, I guess I need to, uh, we'll click Smarties like TC. Like, is there a lag with the audio? Uh, let me know. But Slam's build, take a quick look here. If I can actually click the thing, uh, it seems to be like he's taking his time. He's building an extra lumber camp here, and uh, it doesn't look like he's going to draw. She looks like he's going to go feudal. He might even fast castle this one. I'm not quite sure. And uh, we shall see how it plays out, uh, what he chooses to do. But it's nothing real. doesn't seem like he's in a real rush, is he? I mean, he has eight going over to wood. Uh, it leads me to believe he's just going to fast castle it, actually. And that, that leads me also to believe there's going to be trouble. Trouble for Smarthy and Gracie. Uh, this, I'm not quite sure where this straggler tree is being focused down by Smarthy. I mean, uh, that's not really that efficient. She should be going for the other lumber. But it's okay. She still has these sheep here. She is Mongols. I think she's going to get up. And she could get up now at a super strong 19 population. Is she going to do it? Is she going to choose to do it? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, there we go. I'm going to attack the scout as well. And uh, she says, get out of here. Get out of here. So she's uh, obviously very aggressive. Very aggressive. And I like it. Now, uh, Slam clicked up to feudal. Grace has clicked up to feudal. Is Smarthy going to do it? Uh, Slam, is, Slam is luring the deer to Smarthy. That's so, so rude, man. That's not even... Uh, I, we're, we'll see if Smarthy takes. He's going to lure the deer in. Oh, wow. Didn't look like nature wanted to, to be kind to Smarthy. But that's so funny, man. Slam luring the deer into his enemy here. And, uh... Yeah, it looks like that tree's finally gone. So Smarthy's going to have a, a, an efficient lumber economy now. And uh, she hasn't clicked up yet. Click up, please. Please click up, Smarthy. Please click up. Please, we all want it to happen. We're all watching you right now, intently. Uh, all, there we go, it happened. Thank you, thank you. So, what's Slam going to be doing? Um, well, he has three over to gold. He's going over to stone as well. Is he going to go conquistadors? If so, that's going to be a real trouble for the Grothy team. And uh, lots on lumber for Gracie. Holy cow. Uh, she's going to have a decent amount of wood in a fair amount of time. And uh, four on gold. Uh, getting the barracks up. Uh, build order isn't really the greatest. I mean, with only three on farms and three on uh, berries, soon to be five. She's gonna ha she's gonna struggle, I think, getting the food. But we'll see what she has planned. It doesn't look like I don't think Slam is too bothered, honestly, uh, trying to warn those deer for Smarthy. Uh, she um, he didn't doesn't seem too bothered to kill them off too quick. He's he's kind of just like. He's kind of just toying with them, I think. Now, uh, does he have any military buildings? No, he's just going to... Is he going to just market blacksmith? Yeah, he's going to do it because he can. And uh, he's going to get up to the next stage. He's getting loom now as well. He obviously didn't expect any feudal pressure. <laughs> and he's going to send another one over to stone. Yep, he's going to send another one over to stone. Now, he is going to go conquistadors, which is going to be bad. Smarthy hasn't even clicked up. Uh, or gotten up, rather, to the feudal age. I can't help but think... Well, she hasn't gone to gold yet, so maybe she's going to go scouts. Uh, but she hasn't gotten a barracks yet either, so that's not really the best the best planning from her. Uh, but maybe she's a uh, new metagame, you know. She has this, this uh, scout out here, and she could uh, try and use some amazing micro against these uh, six or seven villagers there. So who knows? Uh, there comes the barracks, and now she knows. She, she's more of a... She's more of a reactive player than a proactive player, I think, and uh, uh, she's probably one of the most reactive players I've ever seen. And look at that. Now she reacts to the fact she only has 50 gold and she's going to go over to gold now. It's almost, it's almost cute, the fact that <laughs> we notice this so far ahead and then she's like, oh, it's like, wow, I need gold now. It's like, oh, I should probably build a barracks. And now she's going to go in archery range as well. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, Smarthy, you're awesome. So anyway... Look at these guys going feudal pressure. Now, Gracie did have this four on gold and uh, sending more of it to gold now. And uh, looks like she he's going to, uh, she, sorry, Gracie, is going to go uh, archery range. You know, it's really, really odd. Normally, I'm always saying he. And then, like, so now there's two females here and there's one male. And then the, the females are actually outnumbering 
and it's really, really, really rare. So I'm going to end up probably calling Slam a girl at some point in this game, uh, if I haven't already. So, we have a blacksmith as well right now from Gracie. Uh, she's she's sending archers across, but now is her time to do the damage because the castle age is going to be coming in, and she sees the stone. And you know, Slam could of course get towers up as well, but she's going to send the units in, and they're coming they're coming strong, and we shall see how this one plays out. Right? We'll see how it plays out as the archery ranges from Smarthy as well, uh, providing some some cover for her nice little town. Uh, but this is where the, all the action is right now. Uh, castle coming up from Slam, and uh, Gracie's going to come in and try and do the damage. <laughs> Smarthy says I'm not ready. Slam's going to see that, and taking a look at Slam's point of view, he says, Oh no, there's a couple few units coming at me without plus one. I'm just going to run my scout away because I'm pro, and I'm going to get this castle up, and we'll see if Gracie sees it. Uh, Gracie... Well, she doesn't see it quite yet, and I think she's gonna. Her archers are gonna meet her death. Uh, it's deaths, or her, he, she, it, whatever. It's so confusing with all these different genders in this game. But yeah, she's gonna stand underneath the castle and try and kill a villager. I don't think it's gonna be too successful. And Slam says, "Run!" with exclamation points, and uh, he seems to be a nice guy as well. I've never spoken to Slam actually, and uh, haven't spoken to a lot of players. And he says, "No, Gracie. Oh, he seems to care about them so much as he kills them." Uh, but anyway, so, what's the play going to be? Because Gracie, like, I, I spoke about the wood earlier. And at th with this game, you kind of got to look at your res, and you got to say, Ooh, I have a little bit too much of that. I should address it elsewhere. She hasn't really done that. I mean, she's making more farms now, but she's struggling, right? She's struggling for the food. She should probably make farms with these guys. Uh, and maybe she'll do that now, but she's struggling because Slam's in the Castle Age. And, uh... Well, is he even making conquistadors? I think Slam is, is just just re relaxing right now, honestly. He's going to build a town center down here, building the gate as well, and he's just going to take his time. And uh, I think that's nice. It's certainly going to uh, make things last a little bit longer. Uh, let Smarthy and Gracie enjoy Age of Empires a little bit longer this game. Uh, now, Smarthy, where are you? There we go. Smarthy is on her way to the Castle Age, and you know what? It's going to be close. She very well may do it. And the 20-minute mark, guys, by the 20-minute mark, uh, I, I think it's just going to be behind it. But that's actually a very decent time if you consider the fact that, uh, well, she's had really crappy economy. That's the only thing I could think of. I was going to make a joke, but let's just let's just say it how it is. Uh, she's, she's been struggling. So uh, going to build a house out here, another reactive house. And uh, as she tries to queue up, Five archers. Okay, so she's going to be going archers, and uh, I think honestly, crossbows a better choice against conquistadors if they come out, uh, because the, you can kind of micro them. And uh, Smarthy seems to be knowing that choice is better, and we'll see if she chooses to boom. Now she could build up some extra town centers and try and really boom up. I'll see what these guys choose to do. Now Gracie's had the scouts down here, hasn't really used it, and uh, Smarthy's on 25 vills now, so she really should try and boom. I think. I think Gracie's the strongest one. And that slam, if he tries to attack, will definitely attra attack Gracie. Uh, we shall see how it goes. Going over to stone now is, um, is Gracie. And, uh, yeah, I mean, all of this ex is exposed. If we had a couple conquistadors over here, Gracie could pretty much be finished. But slam, uh, it seems like he's just going to boom on, well, how many TCs? One there. Uh, one here, one here, and one here. So he's just got a boom. Okay, so uh, basically he is understanding that he could have finished that on one TC with Conquistadors, and he's got a boom, uh, and, and try and push this back. Now, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he'll get Supremacy, because he could do it, and he's going to have so many more Vils that he could absolutely wreck them with Supremacy, I'm wondering if it'll happen. He could at least wreck Smarthy because Smarthy's on 29 bills. And I'm hoping that'll happen. I mean, unfortunately, Smarthy has a hard time keeping her TCs running. It's really bad. And, like, this TC is made, but it's pretty much just, like, cover fire if, if units come in. Because she's not actually producing anything out of it. Uh, and so her bills are, are just not going to be producing at the same speed of, of um, Slam and Gracie. If you take a look at Gracie real quick, 
I can't use my mouse today. She's still only on one TC, getting up to her second one. So, so Slam's going to be really far ahead. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes here. Slam's even trying to get the relics, it looks like. And uh, now he, he very well may know he needs to make some conquistadors, uh, make a town set. He's just, he might even just just defend with town centers and siege workshops. Uh, we will see. We will see. So in comes the crossbows with thumb ring. She got thumb ring before plus two. Uh, I'm not sure about that choice. She's going to throw away the scout because she's too good for scouting. Uh, and so she's going to come in. I think it's plus two, which should be a priority. Uh, that way she can have that extra range. A thumb ring, though, that's a, that's an expensive... That's expensive, you know. And uh, she's got it. She, she has the eco. Uh, back on this side, some archers there for Smarthy as well, who's now getting wheelbarrow. No upgrades on them just yet. This is These guys need to do a, a two-pronged attack. And let's see if these, these crossbows could do anything. They're going to run right by. Oh, there we go. Micro at Gracie. Micro at Gracie. Look at that micro. Yes. Oh, wow. That was, I mean, you lost half your army, but you recovered. And I'm liking it. I would like to see the plus two now from you. And uh, there we go. I mean, the plus, with the plus two, you could definitely be pestering away at those villagers there. Uh, I'm sure she'll get it at some point. Uh, now, let's take a quick look at the villager count. Well, Smarthy is at 33 pills. Slam is at 91. Gracie's at 54. So, Smarthy, uh, like I said, having some trouble. Now, there we go. Crossbows getting a villager. Great job there from Gracie. And like I said, her micro on point, on point. And uh, this Maganel rebuilt because the other one was picked off and you know slams he's on the ropes right now he's on the ropes but now gracie uh she turned off she turned off the micro and uh having some trouble it looks like so smarthy well her town centers still aren't running uh that that's not a priority right now uh I, i'm not sure i'm not sure about that well i am sure about it it's not good at all uh you know so she's at 33 bills right now and i'm pretty sure a couple minutes ago i said she was at 33 bills and she, they literally, she literally has not progressed. Like, she's not progressing at all. She, she's not doing anything. She she hasn't, she's making a couple archers. She hasn't got crossbows. Uh, she She's not doing very much at all. Like, oh, there's crossbow. Okay, so she's getting crossbow. But make villagers. Like, just make villagers, Smarthy. It's, all you got to do is either use the hockeys or just click it. With it, there we go. There's a villager. Thank you. Uh, it just it blows my mind. Holy cow! And uh, but anyway, Slam's on his way to Imperial, and uh, let me just <laughs> let me just pause real quick because I want to see how much supremacy costs so we can pay attention to that. Uh, I'm not aware of how much it costs. So supremacy, 400 food, 250 gold. That's actually not that bad, guys. And uh, sappers as well. Um, 400 food, 200 gold. So that's not bad with the eco that Slam has. That he could just just research that guy right up and absolutely wreck. Uh, he's gonna want a lot of villagers because he's gonna be losing them. He's gonna want a lot of food economy, but I think he could do it. I think he could do it. And uh, oh, I haven't actually modded Dave yet. So Dave, thank you for stopping by. I apologize. I feel bad that there's not a green, a green little green sign next to your name on my channel. But look at this. The crossbows are coming in from Smarthy. And though she's only on 34 villagers now, and about five minutes ago in game time she was at 33, though she's slow and steady with her, uh, with her economy, she's going to push in with crossbows. And uh, she's going to kill a villager. She's going to kill the villager. No. What the? She's going to run away. Uh, could she kill this one? Yes, she can. Uh, that was the one she wanted, and uh, wow! And back on this side, Gracie, are you gonna, are you gonna get another one? Wow! Look at that. We even saw a little bit of a split there as well, and I think Gracie, uh, really benefiting from playing these 2K plus players. Like she's really learning, and Smarthy as well, killing Bills, and this is just an onslaught right now from the Smacy team, and with the Maganel coming in. Is Smarthy going to be able to dodge it now? Uh, well, back on this side, you know, Slam's going to have to kill this one as well. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, pay attention on this side. More bills going down, it looks like, in a minute. And uh, back on this side as well, 
Slam, of course, 2v1 right now. And, oh, look at the split here. I think with the repair, Slam will be okay. Uh, back on this side. Oh, uh, huge shots there from Slam. Uh, focusing down the Vils there is Gracie. And uh, look at this, more Vils down. It's hard to cover both of these attacks. But nice little dodging there from Smarthy, who's still on 34 Vils, by the way. But, uh, yeah, going down there. But back on this side, it looks like Gracie's also going down. And, uh... Have you seen the researches going? Because I, I kind of wasn't paying attention. Pay attention to the Vils. And they, look, 3 plus 6 attack. And they have the armor as well. Guys, is it going to happen? Are we going to see it? Uh, we'll see it. <laughs> I think we're going to see it. That that's what I'm thinking, man. Uh, just keep creating Vils and just attack with them is what I'm thinking. Uh, he's going to wall up this side. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Amazing strat. But I want to see... Uh, Gracie's on her way up to Imp. Keep in mind, Gracie's at 75 bills. She seems to know that that's important. But what? With the walls, man? Like, what is Slam doing? Excuse me. What is Slam doing? I'm not sure. Um. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Smarthy, what can you see with your... With 34 bills? 34 bills she has. She's holding out for Imp. She's, del she's just... I, I get it now. She's just been... Uh, Idling her TCs for Imperial is what she's been doing. But look at this. She just sees the bills running through her town. This is her this <laughs> This is her line of sight. She sees the outpost there. She's completely surrounded by walls. And this is hilarious, man. This is absolutely gold. And, she <laughs> and she's gonna try and run away as well. Oh my word, man. And her TCs are still idle. And uh <laughs> He is, he is absolutely, absolutely everywhere with his villagers. Uh, he has 146 of them. Uh, and <laughs> is he going to collect this gold? Yeah, he's going to collect this gold as well. Smarthy's not going to do anything about it. And uh, she's going to build a castle right there. Uh, and yeah, Slam is complete troll mode right now. Well, back on this side as well, he's trying to wall, but there are Cavalier out now. And uh, that's going to be hard for him to really continue that wall. So we'll see. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna send villagers out now. And will these villas be able to withstand the castle fire and the cavalier? I'm not co too confident of that. They are getting chain farting as well. And uh, But back on this side, Smarthy, I mean, that's just hilarious. That's just hilarious. Uh, still, I mean, she has the food to continue um, to continue to produce villagers, but she hasn't done it. She's at 30 villas now, and that's less. <laughs> That's less. She hasn't gotten past 34. Uh, but look at this. Look at the monasteries from Slam. So, that's interesting. Uh, he's still above 140 bills, so he's lost a lot here. Uh, and he's just going to continue to wall, it looks like. I mean, he's building TCs everywhere. He's walled on this side as well. He's going to continue that. And uh, Gracie's base is not too bad. It's it's quite sexy, honestly. I mean, she has a relic back here. She, she has a... Uh, and no offense to me, but in comparison to Smarties, it's it's awesome. You know, it's it's really nice. And uh, he's gonna build another stable out here, and lots of cavalier as well. Uh, she's getting to the point where Gracie will actually have more military than Smarthy does pop, but uh, we're not there yet. Uh, but the the monks are gonna start coming out. I'd like to see some missionaries as well. And uh, Smarthy, it looks like is just gonna is just gonna get. Does she have? Yeah, I was wondering if Smarthy was going to just get Carto and, and just be able to see everything. Uh, but we'll see. So, uh, Cavalier are going to come down here and uh, maybe Gracie's just going to see if Slam has any markets down there to try and trade with himself or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, Slam's point of view, though, he could see almost the entire map. Uh, he, can, he can see quite a lot. He has a lot of resources as well. Uh, he's not creating that many monks. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Not quite sure. Oh, look at this! He just has a 3 HP villager collecting gold <laughs> right next to Gracie's villagers. What in the world? I'm gonna have to hotkey that villager to see how long it stays alive. It might not be too long, and I don't even know how long it's been there. Uh, there we go. It's gonna die now, but that's hilarious. That's hilarious. So back on this side, you know, the monks are gonna come out now. It's a little late from Slam, I think. Uh, he only has this Maganel back here, and he hasn't really made all that much military at all. I wonder if he's just collecting resources, and uh, of course he has a lot of range, a 9 plus 3 range. And, uh, Smarthy now is just saying WTF, WTF, like she's just now figured out these walls are here. 
but it's been there for a long time, Smarthy. Uh, a really long time. But anyway... Look at this! Slam's completed, the wall's out in the middle of the map as well, and Gracie can't get out. Uh, these military, this military is pretty much the only thing that, that is that Gracie can can get out, and uh, Slam's getting bombard towers now, and uh, these monks have a lot of range, of course. And I'm, I'm just interested. This is like the only thing outside the walls, and building a TC on top of Smarthy's TC. Okay, uh, building some. Look at the tower. What in the world is Slam is completely trolling? This is absolutely hilarious. He's building four TCs right there. Uh, back down on this side, there are Cavalier here, but I think they're all going to get converted here in a second. But look at this, Gracie's completely walled in. She's completely walled in, uh, and now she's going to send her villagers. Uh, and then Smarthy, well, did she break out? I'm not sure, look at all the TCs. Um, oh, I think she could have got out this way around this side. I'm not quite sure. But she's sending more villagers out this way. It is really hard from Slam's point of view to continue walling like this. He's just gonna, he didn't even attack it with his villagers, which he could have done. He's just gonna build random bombard towers just to troll. Uh, okay. And then, uh, the Cavalier still roaming around on the TCs, which have no villagers in it. Uh, because Slam's just doing that to do it. Uh, more villagers running out the side. Look at this. Finally, making some ramps, which I think is a smart choice from Gracie. Gracie is strong, though. She is strong. She has some units. Keep in mind, there's, like, no military from Slam whatsoever. But building the Bombard Towers and just picking off Gracie's units is so funny, man. That's so funny. And, uh... Or Smarthy's units, anyway. Uh, Smarthy... Oh, my gosh. She was at 43 bills a moment ago. That's, that's like landmark for her in this game and look at this the monks are actually coming in so this definitely was open and the bombard towers have come in this side and they're just everywhere the bombard towers are everywhere and smarthy getting absolutely gutted absolutely gutted i uh, look how, how how quickly uh or how not quickly those villagers die they, they're just so tanky right now and uh, Smarthy's up to Imp, I'm not sure what she's going to do, or if she's going to be able to do anything. Gracie, I'm actually going to slow it down a little bit now, honestly. There's a lot going on, and Slam is on full troll mode. Troll mode. Uh, but Gracie's getting Paladin. But where are the Paladin going to be able to come from? Because they're all walled in. Alright, there's a couple of them here. We will see. Uh, but yeah, that's really funny. And look, again... Like, Slam has a point of view everywhere. He can see everything. <laughs> and Smarthy is just getting completely... Bombard towered. She's getting bombed, bombed, and uh, I was gonna say bomb tower. Try to put that into one word, but it didn't work out. And uh, he's not even using his villagers to attack, which is really funny. Uh, he could have done that. He's just wasting his resources here. And uh, yeah, so Smarthy's imp. She doesn't have very much eco, and uh, slams at 157 bills. He seems to be doing fine. Back on this side, there's more towers. And are the towers attacking the castle? The towers are attacking the castle. <laughs> I don't know how that happens or in what situation that's ever successful. But in this one, it seems to be. And uh, their siege ram is coming in for Gracie. She doesn't seem to have many rams. And BBT, there we go. You've just been BBT. But um, that's a lot of paladin going to be coming out from Gracie. But uh, she hasn't really used these. Cavalier, she doesn't have the plus three defense. She can't even get the Cavalier out, and that, that's not good. It's not good at all. But Slam, literally, no military, all game. It, monks and villagers. And if you look, he's probably, well, he should be creating more vills. Does he have any relics? No. So no relics as well, guys, which is absolutely huge. Uh, he's going to continue making Bombard Towers over here, or a Bombard Tower, at least for the meantime. And... Wouldn't you know it? That's exact. Oh no, that's actually an outpost. That's actually his his fog of war, and he's gonna see all of that and probably make more towers. So it looks like Smarthy's going to be making crossbows, and that's interesting. Uh, I don't think there's anything she can really do at this point. Slam's gonna be attacking these uh, paladin, and not gonna be too successful. I'm gonna be completely honest with Slam there, and. Uh, Back on this side? Have the Paladin gotten out for Gracie? No. So, where's Gracie's Siege? Uh, that's what I'm waiting for. Oh, there it is. So, Gracie could do the damage, honestly. 
if the Rams push out, you know, those Paladin could just absolutely gut the eco of Slam, and then Slam can't make anything, right? Slam isn't able to make any type of military which he needs. Slam has, uh, thank you MBL for the host, I appreciate it. So, um, you know, Slam, he's been making just villagers, just monks this entire time, and it's going to be kind of rough. Uh, look at Smarthy sending all these resources that I guess she hasn't been using this entire game to Gracie. So though this is just a friendly game, she's she's, she's slinging now Gracie and she wants to win this game. So uh, Gracie, you're the only hope now, I guess. And uh, I mean, look at this. We have, we have, when do you ever see five town centers like this? Uh, very rare you see that. And uh, Smarthy has this monk just sitting there next to the relic, hasn't picked it up. <laughs> Does she even have... She doesn't even have a monastery anymore? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, back on this side, she's just going to die to villagers most likely. And uh, absolutely hilarious. So, you know, the monks are still here from Slam. Uh, he's at 137 vills now, which is less. I kind of fear for Slam a little bit because pa these paladins come out. That's bad. But look at this. Slam has actually walled in some villagers with the gate. And he's just continuing to make bombard towers. He's just done bills and bombard towers the entire time as Spanish. A couple monks. And look at this. He's pushing in with more bombard towers. That's a little bit more stone there to collect. And Gracie is yet to engage. Gracie is yet to really do anything. And uh, we hear the conversions. Uh, converting villagers here. And Smarthy now has four villagers, two militaries. So she's very, very low population. Keep in mind that I don't believe... There's any relics yet for Slam. Slam has no relics or military, guys. Uh, just a couple monks, which I, I guess could be counted as military. But Gracie is yet to engage. Uh, trying to get upgrades first, I guess. I'm not sure. I feel like she should engage. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the towers are continually coming in. Not, not being uh, addressed. And Slam seems to have full map control right now. Slam can see these relics, but he's... This is... He can... This is his fog of war. He can see everything. He can see this relic. Uh, back on this side, he can see this relic. But he's not doing it because he just wants to win. He, he just wants to have a full troll win. And he's walled them in. And now he has villages in the walls. He's building more towers. And uh, this is this is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. Uh, so, you know, with uh, these towers coming up, pretty much all angles... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the move is from Gracie. She hasn't yet done anything. And there it is. There are the siege ramps. And that's going to be hard to fight from Slam. He's only going to be able to use builds, really. Uh, if he wants to stay on this no military approach, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be rough, like I said. So, um... It's the monks over here. Oh, what does Smarthy have in the range? Oh, she has two... Two, three crossbows gonna come out, and with proper micro, that could change the game. She could actually make a fourth as well. Oh, but she's housed. She's housed. Does she have any villagers? She has one villager. Where is it? Um, I don't. I don't know where it is. Uh, is it here? No, that's the monk and the scout. Uh, is it here? No, that's the university. Uh, I don't know where it is. I don't know. Oh, is it back here? No. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay, build a lumber camp. <laughs> so she can't build a house well she can build a house uh, but yeah there we go go smarty go but anyway the rams are here and uh, we have the siege rams taking out these towers which are really expensive from slam slam is just continuing to continuing to troll uh, and I don't know how successful it's going to be we'll see uh, you know Look at this. He's sending bills, and of course they have all the upgrades in Spanish. Is he going to fight with them? That's the only thing. If he continues this approach, he can do to take out the Rams. So we'll see. Uh, Smarthy's Ville. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it's down here now. Okay. We'll, we'll pay attention to that. Back up on this side. The crossbow's got... Oh, there's got to be one more. Get it. Get it. Can you kill the monks? Ah, it's going to auto-convert. It's going to auto-convert, and I think it's going to get converted. Uh, that was that's a nice try there, but at least you're not housed anymore, Smarthy, and I, I don't think Smarthy is... Smarthy doesn't even have cards, so Smarthy really has no clue what's going on. But out come the Bills, and Slam's going to sacrifice a 
Slam's gonna sacrifice a lot of builds here. And well, he's gonna get the paladins though. And he still has 151 builds, so he's gonna continue. He's gonna continue to uh, have the builds to supplement these attacks. And um, yeah, he's just gonna funnel in the villagers. But the paladins are so strong. I, I just don't know. He's gonna. He's gonna. Let's just take a look. I mean, he's continuing to make fills, guys. Like, he hasn't made any military this entire game. Almost an hour into the game, and he hasn't made any military. And uh, let's see the micro. Keep in mind that these builds do not auto attack. And if Gracie just like patrols units in, she should be completely fine. Uh, you hear the bills going down, but but Slam doesn't care. You know, he's just gonna he's just gonna keep going. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure where. There's Smarty's. There's Smarty's Ville. Where is she going? I'm not sure, but yeah, Slam is. It, it's not gonna work out. I mean, I think that Gracie could push in a win. Why are you building the Lumber Camp there? Like, why? What is the logic? Why not back here where it's safe? It makes no sense, but that's where it's going. And uh, Monks could be really smart. Could be really smart from uh, from Slam, but he continues to just go, just go Vils, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, if you take a quick look, he's not making monks. Keep in mind, he has no relics as well. Yeah, he could have got the relics because they're they're right near him. I mean, he has one here. Uh, he can see that. He has one here as well. He can see that. Uh, he just hasn't gotten them, guys. He could have got that one earlier as well when he's putting up the walls. But he's just trolling. And uh, that's what he's going to stick with. And he's going to build more TCs. You know, with this villager approach, I think the TCs is just to keep the villagers going. But look at... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine vills. Holy crap. There, that must be the, the meta game for this type of Spanish war. And maybe he's just going to try and starve these guys from resources. And, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, as far as the exploration goes, 96% for uh, Slam, and that's pretty much down here. He has Vils right here, and he can just, just use them and kill if he wants. So, yeah, um, he can pretty much see the entire map right now, but he's at 125 Vils right now, and those that's more than them, double more than them, he needs to keep creating them. So the TCs are important. Farms are important, and pretty much food. But Gracie needs to kill. Gracie needs to kill Eco, kill TCs, and um, we'll see. This is this is nuts. This is nuts. What it is. I notice he's not even collecting gold because he doesn't even care about it. And uh, we'll speed it up a little bit more because we kind of know what it is, right? Uh, we're gonna take a quick look at Smarthy, and that bill is still going to work. Uh, and the scouts there as well to kind of protect, just in case the bills come in. The scout will be there. That's hilarious. Uh, she won't really be able to do all that much because she doesn't even have stone to build the TC. So basically, uh, I think Smarthy's just uh, probably on TeamSpeak just asking what's happening right now, um, which is pretty much what she does all the time anyway. Uh, anyway, so, <laughs> love you Smarthy. Anyway, so the Paladins are coming in and so are the Rams and uh, not really a huge concern for Slam because Slam doesn't have the uh, relics and Slam doesn't have the monasteries or he does he doesn't have the monasteries anymore slam does have the relics and he's not producing monks is what I meant to say and uh, but look at this the TC's aren't really gonna stay up with these rams coming in I mean he doesn't have bills in there uh, maybe he's gonna bring in bills to, to to attack he has bills over here trying to kill out seeds kill seeds workshops he has bills over here trying to kill bills and uh, he's just pretty much everywhere remember back on this side he still has some monks and uh, some units and I just think he should pick up the relics and, and start making military because he's allowing Gracie to somehow Gracie's losing bills and I'm not sure how that's happening but it, it is happening Gracie is like on lower what did I like slams using bills or something like Gracie's losing Nico somehow uh, I, I should probably pay attention to that because <laughs> Gracie has look at all these builds dead. Gracie has a very small eco. She's a 45 bills. And uh, we will we will see. But taking a look at Gracie's resources, she, she could, you know, make light caps. Make, she's kind of low on gold. She has gold collected here. That's fine. But I think we should pay attention to what Slam's doing as far as the uh, eco damage on Gracie because Gracie doesn't have that high 
that high a uh, eco. And, uh, you know, she only has like 45 pop, but check this out. It's actually the fact that Slam is killing the eco like a, he's being a pest here, man. And uh, he's just going to kill off these vultures from Gracie. Gracie has one TC and she's not really uh, continuing to keep her eco flowing. And that's a problem because once her military dies, which will basically happen eventually here, then say goodbye to more military. It's not going to happen. Well, still at 100 plus vills of Slam, and I think this is going to work for Slam now. Like, definitely going to work for Slam, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, if Gracie doesn't have the eco. And she's now at 33 vills, and uh, that's enough towers to keep those rams away. And these villagers are just dying. And Slam, he's sending more vills in this direction as well, and uh, Gracie doesn't have anything there to defend. And uh, I think, I think... You know, he, of course, he just send more vills out this direct. He's just streaming vills across the map, and uh, he's gonna win. He's gonna win without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, of course, Gracie has a ton more kills, but you know, I think Slam knows he's gonna win. <laughs> As he says, "Wow, Gracie!" in the chat, I think he's definitely gonna win this one now. Uh, you know, he's, he's just been picking off the eco, and uh, Gracie's not gonna have the eco to continue to make units. So. Uh, We'll see how it goes. It's a shame that I can't have more options for video quality. Uh, I can. I guess the only thing I could say is uh, the more I stream and the more people follow, then uh, when I'm a Twitch partner, we'll get that higher, that higher quality. So uh, that's certainly something that I want, and uh, we'll get there someday. So uh, thank you for stopping by, of course, and uh, making that happen someday. Um, but yeah, Gracie. Oh, did Slam? Is Slam GGing it? Yeah, he's, he, he's GGing it. He's getting raided down here. And he is GGing it. Okay. Uh, I, I thought he would have been fine, honestly. If you look at his his resources, he's a little bit behind. But that was that was hilarious. Um, I, I think at that point, it didn't really matter who won. It was it was a, a game that Slam had. <laughs> but that was that was really funny. Uh, Gracie on total pop of... Well, take a quick look. Come on. Why don't we? Smarthy got one pop, and she's she's victorious. Uh, she actually lost the vill somewhere along the lines. Looks like that vill died over here, and just had the scout to stay in the game for the win. And uh, 110 pop for Gracie with one TC. So, uh, good win, good win for the the Gr the Grarthy team or the. Uh, wait, no, hold on. Yeah, the Grarthy team or the Smacy team, however you want to put it. Uh, but that was a fun game. <laughs> Slam! That was ridiculous, man. If you were to count how many TCs he has. He, he, just absolutely everywhere, man. And uh, that was that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Um, so fun game. They